When designing the pet net barrier, our goal was a universal design that can adapt to almost any make and model. Our demo car today is a 2016 Honda Civic, and this is a typical installation in a small to medium sized car. Now let's review the installation steps. If you're going to use the optional curved top, you'll want to insert the fiberglass rod before you climb into the back seat. It's a lot easier that way. Assemble the rod, slide it through the beginning of the sleeve in this area on either side. Once you get it inserted through the sleeve, you'll need to flex bend it and put the rubber tipped end into the small pocket in this area right here. There are two ball bungee cords, one for each headrest. You'll notice we have a grommet here that's not being used and a grommet here that is being used. In this case, we chose this grommet because it gave us a little more tension on the bungee cord. Your installation may vary. Now let's review the top corner bungee installation. In this example, most small to medium sized cars have an overhead handle. If you've got a larger vehicle with a side handle, we'll cover that later. You can see that to increase the tension, we've got both of the hooks and the grommet. I would say that's pretty typical. If you don't need that much tension, you can hook it on itself. You can see how that lessens the tension. If you actually need more tension, what you can do is wrap it around the handle again and bring it down and hook it. By the way, it's just a little tip. It's much easier to hold the hook down here. It's real tempting to hold it here, but then your thumb tends to get in the way. This is highly variable. There's so many different uh, seats out there. The best way is in this area, if you've got a seat belt plastic housing, it's very easy to just wrap it around the bottom of that seat belt housing. That works the best. In this case, the Honda did not have that. So we've actually wrapped it around the corner of the seat frame itself. Now let's review the installation for a larger vehicle, such as an SUV, a van, or a pickup truck. In this case, our demo vehicle is a 2015 GMC truck. As you can see, it's got a side handle. In this case, we also have the overhead handles, but we chose to demo the side handles. Also, we're using the curved top. You'll note that in a larger vehicle, the roof is taller and you can't wedge the top like you can in a smaller vehicle. In this case, instead of using grommet one or grommet two for the headrest, we wrap the ball bungee around the exposed fiberglass rod, just like a luggage tag, tag at the airport, and then wrapped it around the headrest. That helps hold it up nice and steady. Now let's review installation for the top corners with a side handle installation. In this case, you can see that I've wrapped it twice and put both hooks in the grommet. That gave me the optimal tension. This is probably the most challenging part of the installation, just simply because there are so many different variables and options depending on your make and model. In this case, we've got both hooks in the grommet and the bungee cord itself is wrapped around the seatbelt post or housing. You could also have one hook in the grommet, pull the other hook along the side. There's a couple of different attachment points up here. Or you could go underneath the seat and find a piece of metal or wire that's sturdy down below to hook in. 